There are currently 18 different models of iPad, and by the time you watch this video, there'll likely be even more. So it can be really difficult to work out which model can run which version of GarageBand. So in this video, I'm gonna let you know. Let's go. Hi, my name is Pete, and this is Studio Live Today, where I help you create, record, and release your best music. Now, if you're doing that using an iPad or you're in the market to buy an iPad or a secondhand iPad to use with GarageBand, you may be asking yourself, now, which one do I need to go for? Well, I've got a complete guide, which is in a video which I will link up there and in the description. But if you just want to know the basics around which models will actually be compatible with GarageBand, the latest version, 2.3.7, then in this video, I'm gonna break it down and let you know. Now, because there are so many models and it can be so difficult to work out which one is which, I've put together a complete compatibility guide over at studiolivetoday.com slash iPad. So this lists all 18 current models as of March 2019, their model numbers, which you can get by using a magnifying glass or very good eyesight and reading the model number down the bottom here. And then you can work out which model you're using, if you're not sure, and if it is compatible, or if you're in the market to buy a new iPad or a second hand iPad, you can determine the model number, work out what it is, and then see if it is compatible with the latest version. But if you're just looking for the basic information, it is this. To run GarageBand version 2.3.7, you need at least an iPad Air, an iPad Mini 2, or any of the iPad Pro models. So the, the three different types of iPads, those are the minimum. But there's other things you need to keep in mind, which we'll jump into now. Whilst the iPad Air, the iPad Mini 2, and the iPad Mini 3 can run GarageBand 2.3.7, they don't run Alchemy Synth. Now, if you're an electronic music producer or anyone who likes a little bit of synth in their music, you may want to keep that in mind because you'll need at least an iPad Mini 4 or an iPad Air 2, which is actually the one that I use and recommend. I use an iPad Air 2 with 64 gig of RAM, and I find it is the best entry-level iPad for using GarageBand. But what about if I have an earlier version, an iPad mini or an iPad 2, 3, or 4? Can I run GarageBand? Well, the short answer is yes. The longer answer is no. If you already have an earlier version of GarageBand installed on that iPad, you can use right up to version 2.1. But at version 2.1, when we moved over to iOS 10, then no longer are those previous devices supported. So if you have an earlier device and you already have it installed, you can and keep using GarageBand 2.1. If you pick one of these up secondhand, you can't actually download and install GarageBand on that device. So keep that in mind if you have an iPad 2, 3, or 4, or the first generation of the Mini, and you already have it installed, you can use it. If you don't, you won't be able to install GarageBand. And finally, if you are in the market for a used, refurbished, or secondhand iPad, head over to studiolivetoday.com slash iPad because as well as the compatibility guide, I also have some affiliate links to eBay and to Amazon. And if you do make a purchase through those, you'll not only get yourself an iPad, but you'll be helping me out on the channel here to keep creating this content. And there you have it. I hope this helped you determine which version of the iPad you need or if your current version can run GarageBand. If you want to get stuck in and start learning GarageBand, there are two videos linked right down below. And you can also subscribe to the channel for even more videos by clicking or tapping on the link in the top right. Thanks again, and I'll see you next time.